All right, let's go. Once again, welcome back to Lempo, this time for part four. This time we're in an area called The Climb, and hopefully here I'm going to find that last ancient vase, and maybe a golden chunk or two, because that door has been closed for far too long. Let's get it open. That's what I'm going to try and do, get that door open in this video. So, we're looking for an obelisk, and we're looking for any hints of gold, really. Let's explore the area, maybe starting with this ladder here. Now, I guess this is going to take us down to one of the respawn areas, but there might be something else down here too. A lighter? Soul residue? Sometimes you get stuff. Sometimes... Oh! Oh, sometimes you get souls, it seems. Hi! Oh, it's the cynic again. Oh, it's you again, he says. I guess it's nice to see you again. Did you find what you were looking for from inside the shell? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, thanks. If you didn't know already, all the souls you've met here in Metzenpeto have lost their essence. Including myself, yeah. Now they just wander, trapped here forever, hoping to be saved. Me? Oh no, you're not taking me with you. Here I can't feel a thing, and I prefer it that way. Really? Oh, really, I guess. He's telling the truth. <sighs> Silly me, thinking I could put him in my pocket. He can't join the crew, he's not named. Alright, seems like it's just him. Okay, well... Let's get out of here. Seems he wants to stay down here. I'll let him. <laughs> Is this why it's called the climb? <laughs> I don't think so. But yeah, keep your eye out for an obelisk. Hopefully I'm going to find it around here. Hopefully I haven't missed it on the way. So that's the gate that we came through. That's going to lead back to the church. And it seems like that's directly south. So, well, let's go north. Let's go north down this path and let's see what we find. Let's see what we see. <laughs> Although, to be honest, in weather like this, it's hard to see anything. My shoes sank into the damp moss. Yeah? In the hard rain and dense fog, it was tough to see ahead. <laughs> exactly. Tell me about it. Alright. Was that it? <laughs> Already we're at the end of the path? Uh, okay. I guess we can go off the path up here. I think we're... I think we're still heading north, but I can't tell via the compass. That's on the fritz for some reason. Weird. Why is that happening, I wonder? Right. Okay, so the moon's there. The moon's a constant. I, I guess the moon's, like, northeast. I'll use that as my waypoint. Use that as my marker. What the hell is this? <laughs> is that a piano? There's a piano here. And, well, I guess a dead pianist. Thanks for the residue. Can I play a ditty? No? Nah, I think it's been out in the rain a little bit too long. Anything else? Uh, there might be. Let's see. Oh, there is! Ah! Oh, why does the news sound so horrific? That's enough of that. <sighs> yeah, at least I'm providing quality entertainment. Would you guys agree? I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, let's get even more lost. I like getting lost in this game. Getting lost is kind of the point. Right. Uh, it's getting quite thick here, which probably means we're not meant to go this way. No, I don't think so. Uh, okay. Uh, oh no, no, that's the edge of the valley. Alright, back we go. Back we go. Somewhere over here? Okay, let's just follow this out. There you go. Whew. We got lost, but not too lost, thankfully. Alright. Well, uh, let's go back to the center, back to the piano, and let's keep climbing, I suppose, right? That's really why it's called the climb. We're going uphill. Did I just... Is that a phone I'm hearing again? Can you hear that little mushroom? That's definitely a phone. Is that Miranda again? Or Lempo pretending to be Miranda? 
Right, hold on. It sounds close. It sounds close. Oh, it's very close. There you go. All right. Let's see. Is this going to be my wife or is this going to be another nasty trick? Is that it? Oh. Hysteric crying to laughing. Wonderful. And that was that. Short and sweet. Right. Oh? Oh, it's not over. Whoa, whoa, what the... What the hell's going on? I can't get out of here. I'm not pretending. I'm not hiding. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Lempo's angry. <laughs> huh? Nineteen eighty six. What's the significance of that? The year I was born? Well, I've just noted that down, just in case. Huh. Right, yeah, Lempo is definitely getting angry. Okay, let's continue our ascent, shall we? Let's continue our climb. Let's see. Up here? There's more lights. Alright. What? Oh, look at this. Hey, alright, somewhere to save? Why not? There you go. I do have plenty of soul residue, so, uh... Oh, wait, what? Really? <laughs> Again, we've got spikes! Alright. Oh, and there it is. Okay, hold on, hold on. How many do we need this time? Three! We need three. Okay, well, I, I found one. That's good. Okay. Uh... Let's see, where am I going to find the other two? The soul residue would be quite nice as well, to be honest. Oh, alright. Oh, there's a mushroom here. Let's see. There you go. What the? Oh! What? <laughs> Did I crush that, or...? Oh, they're like... They're like the little poison mushroom things, aren't they? Just like baby versions. Right. Okay, looks like we've got another mushroom over here. I'm just sort of circling the area. Surely I'm going to find another one somewhere nearby. Certainly hope so. You know what would probably help if I replaced this battery and had a couple of mushrooms? There you go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Alright. What about down here? Down here to the left. Anything around here? Nothing at all? Come on. Tell me your secrets, Climb. <laughs> oh, okay. Am I just going to get stuck? I'm just going to get lost in here, aren't I? Okay. Oh, actually, there is one. There's one right here. There you go. Alright. Now, where's number three? No, oh, okay. Not what I was after, but... Uh, it's an orange lighter. Brilliant, okay. Another one to choose from. I think I'm always going to stick with the gravestone, though. Yeah, I think that's probably my favourite so far. Ah, there's one down here. I must have ran right past it. There you go. Alright. So, if I put that down, the spikes should recede. There you go. Come on. <laughs> Better late than never, I suppose. And now, of course, I can get a couple more charges. Right, so let's see. I'm going to use this. Bit of a waste, really. But yeah, now I get three. That's great. I love that. Finding that fang was fantastic. 
fantastic, you might say. <laughs> oh, kill me. Right. Let's continue going uphill. What are we going to find? We're going to find a little bit of a dead end, but let's hop over here. Alright. I feel like I'm sort of zigzagging around as I go up the hill, but it has sort of worked out. So, yeah, I'm going to keep on doing that. Okay, alright, hang on, there's a chair here. Is there... Oh, there's something on the chair as well, right. Alice's Burden 4 of 5. Okay. I hid Noah's body and stayed in bed for three days. I told the children I was sick. They brought me soup. But then I couldn't stay still anymore. The urge was too strong. I found our firstborn sleeping in the barn. I hit him in the head with a plank and boiled him in salt water and ate him. I feel like I gained some of myself back. I will eat all of them. Wow, okay. Five out of five is going to be a real treat. <laughs> Where's it going to be? Wait. Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? It is! Okay, right, this, I think, is the last obelisk. Okay, so there's one more puzzle, one more vase. Okay, great. So, what's it gonna be this time? We've got four dots, nine lines, three vertical lines. Okay, I guess, again, it's to do with the numbers. Um, so, let's try four, five, Oh no, wait, there's a three. So it'll be three, four, five, and then nine? That's it, okay. There it is, the last of the vases. This time the whole city is engulfed by flames. Right. So I know exactly where to put them. I think I've got to put them in a certain order as well. I've got to construct the story. But there you go. So we don't need to worry about the vases anymore. It's just the golden chunks. And to be honest, I do think we need at least one or two more. Yeah. I've got a couple with me. There's already one in the door, but... I don't know if that's enough. Okay. Right. Let's see then. And here to the right. Oh. Oh, it's not a dead end. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What's down here? Anything at all? It's a big open area. There probably is. Right. Come on, Paul. What do your elf eyes see? I feel like I should go back. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Last time you said that... I probably should have done, because I wasted about 15 minutes exploring a forest with nothing in it. So, yeah, okay. And maybe something up here? No. No, no, I don't think so. Okay, right, I'm going to take your advice this time. I'm going to take your advice, I'm going to go back. Alright. Uh, oh, right, yeah. I feel like I'm just going to get, like, cramped in a place and, you know, probably not be able to get out. Right, so, down here. There we go. Back down to the water. Oh, well, there you go. If nothing else, there's this. Okay, another battery. The more the merrier. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Must have run around this. Let's see what we got. Oh. That's another... It's another lighter, a cyan lighter this time. A bit rusty, but functional. Good stuff. Okay. Maybe now I should turn back. Maybe now there's nothing more to find. So, right, there's the obelisk, obviously. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go along this valley here. Or am I? Holy crap. I've seen the little ones, now I've seen the big ones. Is that... I think it's moving. I think it's still alive. I don't think I will be if I get too close, though. So, right, yeah, let's uh, let's give that a wide berth. Oh, we've got the little babies around the outskirts as well. No way. No way. What 
the fuck? What? Yeah, that's not a plane, is it? That's a fucking space shuttle! What? Hang on. Oh, it gets better. It gets much better. That's a golden chunk, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's 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 use that. There we go. Let's save. What the fuck? You really do get all sorts in this forest, don't you? Okay. It, it <laughs> thanks for that little pirouette. I've seen it already. How do we get to it though? Is there a ladder on the side of this thing? Oh, hang on, there's a door. Right. It's another four-digit code, is it? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, it, hang on. It's not 19... It might be 1986. It is. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. And it's all still functional? It all still works? Everything seems to be powered up. Alright. Hold on. Oh, there's a... Is that a key? It, oh, it's the key to the space shuttle. A key to the cockpit of the space shuttle. Okay. Brilliant. Operation manual. Right. Power outage. In certain extreme situations, the system may enter a hibernate state to prevent further damage. After the issue solved, the operator can manually override power controls. The manual override is located at the back of the cargo bay. The override cannot be engaged if the storage safety sensors signal moving cargo. In this case, ensure that cargo is properly secured before continuing. Okay. That's going to be at the back somewhere, right. Can we get this open? Yes, we can, right. Ooh. Oh, there it is, right. Uh, so, let's avoid getting seen, if possible. <laughs> Ooh, alright. Where are we going to go? Around to the right? Around to the left? Okay, up and over. There we are, there we are. So this is this is the cargo area? I guess. Okay, going this way. No! No! Oh, oh, okay, yep, I regret that. I regret that. <sighs> Roots even here. Okay, round here. Okay. Is that it? That's it, that's the lever. Now there's power. I can use the robot arm. Robot arm? I, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Right, hold on, hold on. Let's go around this thing. Can I climb up? Oh, yes, yes. Here we go. Okay, so I can use the robot arm to... to, to well, hang on. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if this is the way you're meant to do it. Seems like I can use this, but I can't. Nothing seems to be working. Yeah, I'm gonna need a, a step ladder or something. It might actually be better if I was sort of walking along the door and then sort of jumped across. I feel like I'm missing something here, to be honest. Right, hold on. Um, I think what I want to do is go back and try that lever again, just to see if I can maybe reset things, or if it's going to do something else. Right, so that's going to that's gonna close the roof. No, we, we want that down, don't we? Right. Okay, is that a battery I see? It is, lovely. So, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah. The cockpit, that's going to be somewhere at the front, right? Didn't see anything. Maybe you've got to access it from outside? Ooh, careful. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't it be here? It would be right here. Ah. Ah, here we go, here we go. Alright. Fancy. Oh, wow. Everything still looks like it's working. Alright. Is that the roof? 
This must be on on the wing, right? That I think is the. Oh, hang on. Extreme turbulence like nothing we've seen in simulations. The sensor readings are all over the place. They can't be right. Altitude is still rising. Engines are working. Might be something wrong with the nose pump. There's a lot of fire in front. It's so bright, it's hard to see. Big explosions, Houston. We heard a loud bang. Ooh. Something exploded. But we're still intact. We don't... We don't see what it was. It's like... Uh, looks like it came from outside. Did we hit something? The engines are gone. We're going down. And I guess that was that. What did I just do? I'm lifting the arm, aren't I? Okay. And then I'm resetting it. Okay, right. Ah, okay. Oh, wait, this one too? Oh, okay, okay, right. Hold on, hold on. I think we just need to get the right... Um, maybe that one there. Oh, that was so close to scooping it up. Hold on, hold on. Uh, so what does this one do exactly? Oh, I see. That changes. That changes that little arm. It's on like a ball socket at the very end. So if I do that again. It just glides past it. Okay, so what if we hit this one more time? Yeah. Ah! Yes! Okay! I Well, it's disappeared. Did I just like... I, did I perform like a home run, essentially? <laughs> Is it going to be somewhere in the valley? Right, hold on, hold on. Is there nothing else to find here? Oh, wait. There's a battery. So bright, it's hard to see. Let's see. Oh, that, oh, I think the arm actually grabbed it. Hold on, hold on. It grabbed it. Are we good? I think we're good. I think we actually turned off the cameras as well. Turned off the sensors. Alright, so let's go up here. Let's see if we can grab this thing. Okay. Hold on, hold on. There we go. A, a golden egg piece. There you go. A large chunk of the golden egg. So that's it. That's what we're making to open the door, it seems. Alright! That's great! I found an ancient vase, I found a bit of the egg! Oh, are we done here? I... <laughs> I don't know. We're probably done with the space shuttle, but what about the area itself? Have I got enough to go back? I don't know. Wow. That was crazy. That was crazy! That was great! Okay. What else am I going to find in the forest? Uh, alright. Well, I found that just by sort of following the edge of the valley, so let's keep on doing that. Okay. Alright, well, there is something. Oh, there's more of these heads skewered. Right. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, and there's more of those spikes down there. Okay, alright, well, let's not fall. Let's not fall. Let's go this way. Where are we going exactly? That's the question. Okay, I... I might be seeing the end. I can see a spike there. Bloody hell, this place is well protected. There's got to be something good, right? It's going to be another... another golden chunk, you'd think. Okay? Is that a doorway? Okay, oh, there's something... Right, this is like a cabin? What the hell is this? Well, whatever it is, I'm too curious to leave it alone. I'm going in. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Have I made a terrible mistake? I can't leave. Where are we here? Something in the way of the moon. That's a long way down. Okay. Well, there's a soul here. Where the hell is this place? What the... What? Watch your step, son. These are delicate flowers. Oh, 
sorry. There's something familiar about you. Oh? Yes. What's your name? Paul. Paul? Paul, dear boy, it's me! Grandfather? What? Oh my god, it really is you. I thought he escaped! I can't believe it, he says. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I got lost just like you. Yeah. But how are you here again? Right. Again? Yeah, did you try to find me? I'm sorry, son, you lost me there. I've never gotten out of this place. What? I mean, I just saw you a couple of days ago. A couple of days? That can't be true. I've been trapped in this forest for as long as I can remember. This must be an illusion again. I know for a fact that I just saw you. Hmm. I'm sorry, but you're mistaken. I've been gardening here for Tia Taya for years. Who is Tia Taya? Oh, he's a fine fellow. Let's me do the gardening and keeps me safe here. I don't have to be afraid anymore. But wait a second. If you have been here all the time, then how can you also be out in the real world? Right. Oh? Oh, this is Tia Tia. It's the manifestation of Lempo itself? It's taken your grandfather's body and now roams free in your realm. That's... It's one thing to believe in the supernatural in a place like this, but that sounds... Oh, okay. I guess it's true. I do not need you to believe me. You can make up your own reality as you wish, but for me, it's a fact. Lempo is with your family as we speak, in disguise. Luring them inside its spell, Medicine Pater. No, I, I need to get back now. I apologize again, but I think my theories have misled you. I failed to escape, and I'm not even sure that there is a way out. No, no, do, don't say that. Do not fear. Your grandfather's hypothesis was correct. There is a way out, and it is indeed in the core of Metzampeto. You're on the right track. Am I, though? I'm... I'm sorry. I need to go. Can I trust you guys? You're missing an egg piece still. Right, okay. I can provide you with one. It's in my study. Help yourself. Alright? In his study? It's up there. I think he plays something with his cantelli to get there. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to help you more. I just tend to these flowers. He's rarely even here. Hang in there, Miranda. Elijah, I'm coming home. Wow. Okay, well I'm very glad that I walked through that doorway. Or am I? Is this really my grandfather? I'm not gonna oh. you here. I'm gonna save us both. Right. I don't know if I can trust them, but apparently this is my grandfather. Let's see. Okay. So let's see, we've got Dunstan there. My grandfather's here. Paul's grandfather, William, suffered from realistic nightmares since childhood. One dream was above the others in his anxiety, desperation, and how real it felt. The repeating dream would start as a romantic one, with a feeling of love. A beautiful and intimate being would seduce him to go with it. The more William fell in love with the figure, the more evil it turned. William would follow the seducer as far as he could until he was left alone in an endless, emotionless pit. Then the shadows would grow over William and swallow him. In its absurdity, William was sure he had been to the other side. When William was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, the nightmare started occurring more frequently and more intensely. Lempo had nested inside William, and one morning, it wasn't William who woke up. Right. So I guess that wasn't my grandfather that I was speaking with a couple of days ago. Wow, okay. That might explain how I got here as well. Yeah. He's targeting family members, so maybe Miranda and Elijah are next to come. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Anything down here? Alright, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> I was stuck on the ladder. Uh, wow, that's giant. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't really go in the water too much in this game. There's things swimming around that look like that. 
Look at these feathers. <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay. So, there's an egg piece here? Right. So I was still missing one. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's, let's save. There we are. What have we got around here? Tia Tia? Where did you go? Anything down here? No? What? Oh, okay. What have we got here? Oh. All right. Ah. Ah, okay. Thankfully, it's not a slide puzzle. We just need to uh, move these around. Looks like it's going to be symmetrical. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that fits. As does that. Yep, so far so good. This one's a little bit out of place, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think that's it. Hold on. The bottom of the beard, and then this one. Hey! Oh, alright. We got wire? Cantelli strings, right. Strings made of horse hair, apparently. Right. What's a Cantelli? Not really sure. Hmm. Okay. Oh, let's see. Up here? Yeah, let's go up here. This is crazy. I could have quite easily missed this as well. Oh, hang on, look at this. I... I can sleep in the eggshell? Um... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, why not? Okay. I was wondering if something special would happen because I'm actually sleeping in an eggshell, but I guess not. Ah. <laughs> Instead, I've just lost a little bit of my vitality. Now to 98 again. Right. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Can we go any higher? It looks like there is, like, more up there, but how'd you get up there? Hmm. Not this way, by the looks of it. I'm gonna go down. It looks like there's another walkway that I've missed. Ah, over here. Right. So where does this go? Does it go anywhere? Is this gonna be a diving board? I, uh, <laughs> no, they haven't got the diving board installed yet. Oh, I'm so far away. This is useless. It looks like there's another glowing doorway. That's not the one that I came through. Hmm. Looks like that's a safe area. Oh, hold on. Ah. One moment, one moment. There's a ladder here. Ah, I ran past this. Didn't see it. Okay. It's missing all the strings. Oh, or is it? Not anymore. <laughs> uh, all right. So we do have different colors. There's pink, blue, yellow, green, and red. So hold on. Let's see if we can play this. I got it right. Honestly, I wasn't so sure about that last yellow one. Yeah, I almost didn't see that. That's quite faded in. That's quite hard to see. But right, okay, now, now, let's climb that ladder. That's going to lead me to a doorway. All right. Nothing down there, is there? Oh, there might be. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe let's not jump off the edge quite yet. I don't think I've really got to that stage. so blindingly bright. Oh! Okay. Tieti is study. Right. Okay. Here we are then. Oh. 
Very nice. And is this where you're hiding away? Look at the size of this. Oh, and look, look, this is it, isn't it? This is the egg piece in this thing's jaw. Bloody hell. Oh, right. For once, I can't actually pick these cubes up. What's this? A paper with some star patterns on it. Okay. Interesting. I'll take that with me. Got a few mushrooms here. What else have we got? Okay. Lempo. For some, a god of love and fertility. For others, a devil. People have perceived Lempo differently throughout the ages. But for those who can't remember, and for those who have seen the birth of the world, a god of destruction and chaos. A strong conjurer. My worst enemy. Yeah. Could Tietia even be a god? This realm, Metzenpeto, is partly a spell of Lempo, or it's become one. Something that already was, and something that was created. It's hard to travel in and out, but not impossible. There are gods stronger than it, who will have their way, if they just want to. The time, the place, and the people trapped here will wither, melting into one living level of existence where everything's connected. Somehow, it fascinates me, the whole beauty of it. But I must be careful of how much time I spend here. I also have my duties elsewhere. Is that right? How many realms do you inhabit? We've got a miling here. Right. Clearly, it at least was a miling at some point. Now it seems harmless. A miling is born from a womb of an unwanting mother, and killed soon after. A malevolent and evil spirit enraged by the betrayal of one's mother. One should be careful around these. Okay, anything else? Doesn't seem so. Right. So, you're responsible for the save points and, and all these as well? Thanks! Honestly, thank you very much! Now I just need to get that. And I guess that's got something to do with this. Okay. Oh, wow. Could this have something to do with the constellations in the sky? <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh... They're everywhere. They're even below me. So... One moment, one moment. Let's go to documents here. Uh, the star paper, was it? Okay, so there's a few that are crossed out, so we ignore those ones? So there's one that looks like a headless corpse. There's one that looks like, uh, I don't know, a horse standing on its tail. Uh, and then there's one that kind of looks like a strange fish hook. Yeah, okay. So it's not that one. It's not that one, I don't think. And that's the headless corpse one. There's actually not that many variations. They're just twisted around a little bit. They're just copy and pasted. Okay, so... Right. That one? That one's not crossed. So how the hell do you work this thing? Is there something to do with the... Ah, okay, okay. So this is how we construct the constellation. Um, that's kind of close, actually. If I'm making that one there, it's on its side, but that that's very, very close. I just need to get this this arm sorted out, so... Okay, we've got four others to play with. Oh, hang on. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's the creature opening its mouth. Oh boy, I'm not reaching in there. <laughs> Let me get a stick or something. I don't know. Jeez. Shit. Okay. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Doorway. All right. 
Oh, it, it's a doorway at the, the top of those stairs. Right. That was fun. That was a lot easier than I was expecting as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just fiddle around with things and sometimes you, uh, you more or less get the solution. Okay, right, so back through here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this doesn't seem safe. Uh, right, yeah, okay, now, now of course I want to go up there, don't I? So what about now? Have we got all the chunks that we need? Have we got all the egg pieces that we need? Maybe there's going to be another one through here. Let's see. Is this going to take me out of here? It's going to take me somewhere. Okay. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, right! I know where we are. I know exactly where we are. I don't know how we squeezed through there, but... Right. We've gone quite a long way back. I had clearly made the forest angry. I was getting close. I hope but so. But at the same time, I noticed a change in myself. I was no longer just afraid. I was angry too. Yeah. Oh boy, that's that's the caretaker, isn't it? That oh boy. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Whoa. Oh shit, okay, the caretakers! Caretakers! Right. Jeez. Right. Run, 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 run. I want to head pretty much like northeast, I think. Some somewhere over here? I don't know. No, I <sighs> Right. The map. Let's have a look. No, from where I was, it's pretty much east, so I, I'm heading in the right direction going this way, I think. Okay, there's a path. There's a path. Here we go! Here we go! Okay. Right. Is this area safe? I'm not sure. Right. Here we go. Long time no see, right? Long time no see. So, back at the Statue of Hellas. Let's see. Um, I think the order is going to matter here, but let's see if it doesn't. I'm just going to put them on in any order. And nothing happens. Right. I don't know if I'm comfortable with this, honestly, so... Right, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to save. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Right. Hopefully the angry forest stays in the angry forest. So... What is it this time? Okay, that's where they're fighting a god. They're enslaved by the gods. Right, the obelisks? That's them building obelisks, isn't it? So it doesn't really make sense for it to be like that. And that's the world in flames. Oh, damn. Right, okay. Um, that's probably the last one. Yeah. Yeah, well, this... It wouldn't make sense that these two are in this order, right? You're going to be building the obelisks before the obelisks do something. So, that's them building the obelisks. And that's them using it for something. Okay. Right. So, right, they're fighting the gods. They get enslaved. Just out of interest. Are these two... Are these two round the wrong way? Maybe... Maybe there's the flames here. And that goes there. Ah, ah, that's it. It's actually... It's, it's done by height. Okay. The Hades Ring. Forged by slaves of eternal beings. The ring contains powers not meant to be wielded by men. In Lempo's spell of Metzenpeto, the ring protects you and stops you from getting tired. Oh, it's about damn time! Right, okay, uh, so hold on. Uh, do I need to put that on? Use. There you go. Brilliant! Well, that wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, but um, yeah, I, I guess I don't need any more golden chunks, do I? What I need is to get to the other side of the graveyard of trees. So... Right. Let's save again. Okay. 
I'm going to go and take the shortcut. It's down here, isn't it? There's that door. The door that takes me down that passage all the way underneath that swamp. Here we are. Right. I really hope this doesn't break. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Here's the cave. Grandfather's cave. With its healing properties as well. I might use them. <laughs> right. So, how many how many chunks have I got on me? I think I've got three or four. Oh, yeah, there's that. Oh, actually, yeah. I might... I might have the solution to this. Uh, so, hold on, hold on. Um, there's there's a couple of documents that I should have scrutinized a little more. God, oh, which one was it? Um, that's it from the grandfather. No, it was one of these ones, though, I think. No, that's the backwards one. The weird no. Is it that one that has that on the back? Yes, yes, it's got the numbers on the back. Okay, so uh, it seems my grandfather was working something out. Um, there's 28, 38, 39, 36. Right at the bottom here, it's actually quite hard to see, but there is a five-digit code. Now, I wonder if that's it. I can't really make sense of the rest of it, but if it is 81632, that'd be good. It's the only thing I can think of. I haven't found any other clues. Was that it? That was... Oh, that was it. Oh, Christ. There was another one? There was another one. That's a little bit worrying, actually. I assumed that one that I got was the last one. So... Oh. Right. Great that I've got it, but... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll need to go back. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go around. Let's get to the door. Let's get that door open. And yeah, let's get that door open. Can we get the door open? Have we got everything that we need? There we are. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here and, and dip my toes a little bit. There you go. Water makes me feel better. So that shouldn't recede from 98. Unless, of course, I get hit. Right, let's see. Five more. Okay. Yeah. I think we got them all. That's it. I've got them all. We've opened the door. Oh man, I am so glad I took another look at those documents. Wow, looks like the weather's even more terrible here. Wow, okay. Just out of interest, can we go back? Seems like we can. Do I want to though? Don't know. Maybe there's no need. And again, maybe I'm missing something. Right. Let's see. Ah, okay. Let's save, and let's get a, a little lay of the land, shall we? More floating rock pieces? No? Oh, we've got a sign! Don't see many of them in the forest. To ferry. There's a ferry around here? <laughs> I guess that means there's a ferry around here. And I guess that means that we'll be exploring the area looking for it next time in part 5 of Lempo. I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, leave this video a like. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time in part 5. <laughs> Is this why it's called the climb? <laughs> I think we're... I think we're still heading north, but I can't tell via the compass. Whoa, whoa what, the, what the hell's going on? Come on, Paul. What do your elf eyes see? I feel like I should go back. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to go along this valley here. Or am I? Okay, going this way. No! no oh, oh, okay, yep, I regret that. I regret that. It's me! Grandfather? What? Oh my god, it really is you. I thought he escaped. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. I'm not reaching in there. <laughs> that little boy. Okay. Oh, God. Get work. Oh, shit. Okay, the caretakers. That's it. I've got them all. We've opened the door.